Hey, what's up, my people? How you doing? My name is Dalton, and this is Dalton, my world. Now, this is going to be EBT update part two for November 2021. All right, and before I say anything, I would like to say uh, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. And also, I want to give my respect, my late respect to uh, the veterans. The veterans Day just passed. I want to give my late respect to the veterans, all who have served, all who are serving, all who plan on serving. Thank you all for keeping America safe, doing all the things that you've done and being so patriotic. I thank you all. Anyway, now, I'll be back in about 20 seconds. You know how it works. And then we can get on with the show. Peace. my people what's up i'm back my name is dalton and this is dalton my world and this is the ebt part two deuce part two uh for november 2021 i have my notes and let's do this all right now if you do not hear your state you might want to check on my other EBT update I did this month called uh, it's uh, for November 2021 okay that's part one all right and also if you see my breath it's because it's 36 degrees out here in Pittsburgh right now only four degrees away from freezing so no I'm not smoking cigarettes or anything that is actually it's cold out here all right let's do this I even got stuff in my eye here. Okay. Alaska. Arizona. California. Delaware. District of Columbia. Georgia. Guam. Illinois. Kansas. Louisiana. Michigan. I know you asked last time. We're in Michigan. <laughs> New Mexico. New York. Ohio. Oklahoma. Texas. Utah. Vermont. And Virgin Islands. That's right, baby. And like I said, this is part two. As you see here, the hot sirens going off now. <laughs> this is part two. All right, check out these be this beautiful fall. Look at this. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Check out that beautiful fall. Anyway. As I was stating, uh, this is the EBT update, part two. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind, do not forget, this is super important, like around the 20th, most states, they give you that emergency allotment onto your food stamp. So even if you're running out by, by now, as you see this video, uh, don't forget to check it check it okay check that food check your food stamp card you know your EBT snap check your card okay because a lot of times it all depends on the household how much extra they give you but they usually give you a lot extra okay and that way if you're running low you still have enough to get you know your Thanksgiving festivities your Thanksgiving turkey etc you know what I'm saying so don't forget to check your food stamps at the end of the month, around the 20th, 
you know what I'm saying? And you'd probably be pleasantly surprised that you got more food stamps added on to it, okay? And let me give you an example. I had a friend of mine, and they got, they usually get about $200, two dollars two two fifty um, on their food stamps. And I was talking to them, and they got around, I think it was around the 20th, they got that additional hundred dollars so that's more than enough if you're and they're a single person so that's more than enough if you're a single person to get yourself some grub and festivities to eat you know even if you're vegetarian you can get yourself some fresh vegetables and fruit and have yourself a festive time you know be thankful be thankful you're six feet above ground be thankful you're alive there's so much to be thankful for okay and now I definitely want to tell you that also let me reiterate oh, I think that's the right word oops <laughs> let me go over again uh, the college students even if you live at home the college students can now get EBT a lot of them seem to forget that also a quick update on Monday I believe it's going to be the 15th of November. Biden is going to sign into law the infrastructure bill. And I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, what I am embarrassed of, I'm, I'm really embarrassed about the Republicans right now. I'm, I mean, how they're going against their own is disgraceful. I mean, they need to look at history. Republicans used to be the ones that actually created jobs. Okay, yeah, they helped out the rich, but they did other stuff to create jobs. Now, 13 Republicans decided to get back to what conservatives really mean, helping American people, no matter if it's a red or blue state. And then you got Trump fanatics that's giving them a hard time. That's disrespectful. I, you know, and if you know me, I'm not a Democrat and I'm not a Republican. And so I call it as I see it. Do you know? Um, they need to get out of their occult mentality that they have and go back to the roots of being conservative Republicans again. Okay? I mean, really. You know, I mean, uh, Reagan wasn't that stupid the way they're acting. You know what I'm saying? I mean, God. But anyway, Monday, uh, Biden's supposed to sign the infrastructure bill in the law. And Pelosi said that same week she's planning on uh, putting a vote for the recon. But we've heard that, oh, what, seven times already now? So who knows? Did you know most of the people have forgotten and don't even know the, what what the recon is? They they forgot. It's it's such a mess that they just literally forgotten about it. Okay, and they're trying to find new ways, their own selves, to create their own kind of stimulus package, where they're opening savings and just saving up a certain amount of money that they can use for whatever they need to in the future. You know, they're they're finding ways to create their own stimulus package because they cannot depend on the United States government. Whether it's the Democrats. Actually, we have, we got more stimulus checks from when the Republican was in office than we do are getting them when the Democrats were in office, believe it or not. Because there is absolutely no word of any form of stimulus check that, uh, gonna, that's going to be happening uh, in this upcoming fourth stimulus package. And no one's talking about that whatsoever. But the cool thing they are talking about is that there's going to be money set aside for trade training, for jobs like, you know, if you want to get a certification in technology, you want to get uh, a trade, you know, get your trade paid for. Uh, learn air conditioning, you know, plumbing, whatever, get that trade paid for, there's going to be money for that. That's the rumor, so I can't wait to see that, okay? But anyway, I'll let you go for now, and I hope y'all, again, have a great Thanksgiving. 
Be blessed out there, and I'll talk to you soon. I'm just going to stay warm here. Peace.